firefighters overnight battled what could be the flames of President Putin's frustration. After fresh Russian attacks overnight, Russia has intensified its air and missile assaults as Russian forces lay siege to Ukraine's second city, Kharkiv, in what could be a trial run for the capital. Killing a health official said more than 20 civilians across the city since yesterday. Ukraine's President Zelensky accused Russia of using brutality against civilians to force him to sign a deal with Moscow, likely for his exit. And the international community is protesting those tactics. 100 diplomats walking out of a speech by Russia's foreign minister at the UN Human Rights Council on Tuesday. As a 40-mile Russian convoy is heading toward Kiev. But its progress is stalled, U.S. officials say, because of a lack of fuel and food. Russian forces are still expected to encircle and attack the capital after Ukrainians said Russia bombed a key television tower and a Holocaust memorial site. In Kiev, we went to Ukraine's biggest hospital for mothers and babies. The cold storage area downstairs, now a ward for fragile patients. Katerina's two daughters, Diana and Sophia, were born at five months. They were in an oxygen chamber together when the Russians started bombing. We had to rush down here as we were hearing the sirens and explosions, she says. Look at this place. It's old and rusty, and we don't know how long we'll be here. What about your family? Have you been able to see the rest of your family, or are you just here by yourself? I have a brother who helped me, but he's a soldier and has been activated, so I have nobody else. Oksana's daughter, Nicole, was born with complex needs and requires constant care. How's Nicole? We were giving her a blood transfusion every two weeks, but now her condition is getting worse and she feels worse, Oksana says. How are you feeling? I, I, I have a child myself who has special needs and has extra health issues, and I know how, how powerless you can feel to be a parent with a, with a sick child. It is very hard, she says. We want this war to stop because our kids suffer and we cannot go home. As that Russian convoy slowly makes its way toward Kiev, the mayor of the city today told people to stock up and be prepared to defend their city. And a new development today, Hoda, the Ukrainian military announced that for the first time since this conflict began, its forces have gone on the offensive. All right, Richard Engel, uh, thank you. So heartbreaking to see those images of those mothers and those children. Ah, take a deep breath. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.